Welcome everyone to Spider Rider Extras. Today we're going to install the K&M signature light to this uh, 2017 K&M Spider F3S. And the signature light will be going right here. It's a great accent piece and I always believe there's never enough lights. Make yourself as visible as possible. So the first thing we're going to do of course, we're going to unlock the glove compartment, and we're going to take out the liner. k &M liners come out pretty easy, but you do have to remember they basically have the plastic rivets. You just pop them out. You can use a screwdriver to slide right under there, and it pops right out. One, two, three, and four, and then we'll slide out the liner. As you can see, I popped all the rivets here and they just pull right out. And you pull out all four. Then the next step is they say to take off the lid to the front trunk, trunk but I don't think I'm gonna do that unless I have to. We'll try to work around that. All right, let's go ahead and take the rest of the liner out. And as you can see, once they're removed, the liner will pull right out. One thing I forgot to take off that's holding the liner in, as you can see, make sure you take off the service cover. It just pulls up and pops out. So pull it up and pop it out on both sides at the same time. Went ahead and took the battery out and I did that by, of course, making sure everything's disconnected. There's a strap here with a bracket. Undid the strap, the bracket popped off and the battery just floats right out. Now, if you look down there, you can see the connector. It's right there. That's the connector for the lights. Now, the lights come with this power controller, which will be mounted right in here at the lowest point. It actually has marked places you can't miss them once you look, once you look down in there with a flashlight. And it comes with all the brackets you need. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. All right, Can-Am did not make this easy, guys. Uh, I went ahead and connected the connector, as you can see, to the accessory, or the uh, controller to the accessory port. This is supposed to be attached to there. It's pretty much impossible. So I'm gonna see if I can find zip ties and maybe attach it, secure it a little better before I put the battery back. We're going to try to do that. Next, we need to drill a hole to actually mount the light. It's already pre-marked, as you can see, right on the plastic. So I'm going to get some tape and cardboard and kind of cover up this whole area here. So when the drill bit goes through, I won't hit my paint job. Don't want to scratch anything up. And that's going to be... Um, I think it's a one half inch drill bit. So we're gonna do that next. We don't need to worry about the storage bin because if you look, it already has a cutout in the front. The older models did not, but uh, 2017 did and above, of course. All right, as you can see, I got the area taped up the protective finish and I'm gonna go ahead and drill. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna drill a smaller hole first, pilot hole, and then follow up with my one half inch bit. Right, the hole is drilled and I'm going to test fit the light. All right, as you can see, I've fed the wire in through this direction where it will connect to the uh, power uh, controller. Just slides right in like that. Okay, looking from this angle, you can see we're at the front of the bike here. And as you can tell, I never had to take the hood off. Now right here, you have the hole and already a pre-drilled hole and it's on each side. And you just secure it with the screw pretty easy. The screws come with the kit and they're secured with, uh, secured with an Allen wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Finally figured this all out. It's kind of hard to do when you don't have any instructions nor does it come with any instructions. All right, we have that bolt in. The other bolt's in. This is all secured now. 
Now inside, the kit came with this piece of metal. So I actually mounted that first from under the fender, and now the controller will mount to that. Get in there and show you. This will actually mount down there to that with two screws. So that should do it. I'll give you, I'll show you when I'm done here, what it's gonna look like. All right, everything is installed and I'm gonna put the battery back in, power it up and see what happens. Everything now is rewired. I'm gonna put back in the liner, make sure I have clearance and I'm gonna, before I uh, secure the liner, I'm gonna make sure the light's gonna work. All right, there's the finished product. I did not expect it to be so bright. Looks excellent. And I do apologize for the video having to stop so many times, but man, when you don't have instructions, um, it's tough. Hopefully I made it a little easier for the next person that's gonna to try to put one of these on their spider. All right, guys, it's Mike, Spider Riders. You guys have a great day.